We're seeing more reports of lantern flies close to home. Over the weekend, the invasive insects were spotted in Cincinnati. Now, as WKYT meteorologist Alexa Minton explains, experts are reminding everyone what to do if you see them. In 2014, lantern flies were first officially spotted in the United States, but since then, the pests have made their way to multiple different major U.S. cities. Lantern flies are notorious for not laying their eggs just on trees and shrubs. They'll even lay their eggs on trucks and cars and trains. And so anybody that goes to these states, especially right now, uh, when they're doing a lot of oviposition, they could end up bringing an unwanted visitor back with them uh, on the underside of their vehicle. Recently increased reports of lantern flies in the Cincinnati area have city officials sounding the alarm to Kentuckians, making them aware that the invasive bug could make its way down into the bluegrass. Lantern flies are a huge annoyance in areas where they invade. Their populations get so big, they just fall out of trees, they land on people, they don't bite or sting, but it's troublesome to have an over an inch long insect kind of land on you. The bugs tend to mess with different crops, specifically causing harm to vineyards and grape production. And thanks to the bugs not being native to the United States, there is no specific way to prevent the invasive lantern fly from wreaking its havoc other than just killing it when you see one. Here in Kentucky, we would like it if people, before they squished a lantern fly, if they took a beat and took a picture and then send it to us. So we have report a pest at uky.edu. We really need to know if you found something that you believe is a lantern fly. So yes, it's good to kill them, but please take a picture first and send it to us. In Lexington, Alexa Minton, WKYT. Well, will try and keep that in mind before you squish them. Officials also want to warn people out to keep an eye for lanternfly eggs because they can appear to look like crusted lumpy clay on the bottom of your vehicle.